Miss Ruby and today I am going to be comparing different feather quills. I am asked so often where do you get your feather quills, which quills can you recommend and I thought that it would be a great idea to actually put it all together in one video and compare all of the ones that I have. So I am going to be comparing quills from 1, 2, 3, 4, five, six, six different brands. And I'm going to be giving you the pluses and negatives, then also the prices, and then I'm going to give you, a, I'll show you an example of writing with it, just so you know what it's like. And all of the links to all of these products will be down below. When writing, I'm going to be using Black Parker Quink, and the part of what I'll be using is it's one that I bought off Amazon and I will leave the link to this below if you want to go and have a look. I'm going to start with Manuscript because these are the first quills that I ever got and so I feel it's the perfect place to begin. I have two quills from Manuscript. I've got a red one and a white one and I got both of these when I was 9 or 10 and really these have lasted very well. Now I can't say the same about all of these quills because I have not had them for the same length of time. But these, the nib hasn't broken, the feathers have been damaged. But really that's all fault of my own, it doesn't reflect badly on the product. I think one of the disadvantages is that sometimes you can get ink on your fingers when you're writing with this one. Because the actual nib isn't very long, uh, the ink from the well here can stain your fingers. In terms of the writing that's produced, uh, I'd say that these are some of my favourites. These pens retail for £15 on Amazon, or if you go to Manuscript directly, you can buy them for £10. And they have them in lots of different colours. I cannot tell you how happy I am that it is snowing. This is genuinely one of the only reasons that I'm coming down here, so that you can see the gorgeous snow falling behind me. So, the second quill is the Harry Potter official one from Warner Brothers. You can buy it on Amazon for £39.75. It is my favourite quill. And I am I think, personally, that it is worth the money, despite it being very expensive. Practically identical to the one that we see in the Goblet of Fire when they're doing their schoolwork. And I think one of the greatest things about it is that it does come with an inkwell with the Hogwarts crest on it. One of my favourite things about this quill is the nib shape itself. Uh, also, it writes very well. Um, it's slightly scratchy. It's a bit scratchier than the manuscript one when you're writing. But it's actually very smooth when um, it's easy to write with, it doesn't get caught on the page as some quills do. Uh, the things that I probably would say aren't so good about it are the fact that this bit here is plastic. Uh, usually it's metal or wood and also the feather is painted and you can feel it, it's not as soft as other feathers. The next two quills I'm going to be showing you are from The Feather Company. Um, uh, the Feather Company were very kind in sending me these quills. They've also been really kind to give a discount code. So if you go over to their website and use the code GRANGER01-17, then you can get 10% off your order. The first quill that they sent me was this one. This retails for £5.18 and it is the Bronze Nib Feather Pen. Now this looks very similar to the official Harry Potter one and so if you're looking for a cheaper alternative, I think that this one is perfect. Also the feather is so soft, I said that this one was dyed, this one isn't dyed, this is, this is a genuine feather. When I, when I was writing with this, the ink came up really easily, I was really impressed actually by how fluid it was. Uh, it wasn't scratchy at all. I can quite honestly give no disadvantages about this pen. They also sent me another quill. This one is one of the Turkey Feather Pointer Pens, and as you can see, it is beautiful. Literally, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love the colour. It really reminds me of Professor McGonagall. Now, actually, with this pen, though, um, it wasn't as easy to write with as this one. I'm not sure the difference, because the, the quills themselves look very similar. I found it difficult to write with the nib facing down, but I was able to write the feather company uh, with the nib facing the other way. If I were to recommend one, I would recommend this one. So the next one is actually a dipping pen instead of a quill, but it works in the same way, so I'm going to, I'm going to be showing you this one. So this quill is by Browse & Co. I think it's pronounced Browse. It's B-R-A-U-S-E. The pen itself is £4.90 on Scribblers and then you can buy alternate different nibs for it because the nib is detachable. This writes very well. The nib that I've got is very thick but it's quite uneven in the consistency of ink that it produces. The quill that I will be showing you. Again, it's a dipping pen as opposed to a quill. 
but it is this one by Bortoletti. This pen set can be purchased from Calligraphy Arts. And Calligraphy Arts were again very kind in sending me this pen. This is the pen itself and I think you'll agree with me in how beautiful it is. The polished wood finish and then there's this gorgeous gold at the top. And this set comes with four detachable nibs so you can really easily just pop the nib out and then replace it with whichever one you feel like writing with. Also a pot of ink and this is black ink and it's got a lovely seal at the top. For the whole of this set, it is £18, which is actually very affordable, especially for such a good quality pen. It's quite ergonomical, um, owing to the slight dip in the um, gold handle, because there are four different nibs. Obviously, each of them have both advantages and disadvantages, because they all write differently. My favourite two nibs were nib 1 and nib 4, because I like the slightly thicker ink, I feel like it's easier to write with. Nibs 2 and 3 were thinner, uh, I usually find that thinner nibs are slightly more scratchy and so not so fluid in their writing. Really, overall, this is a fantastic pen and I would recommend it. One thing that I will say though is that when you're detaching the nibs, your hands can get very inky. Mine are all stained black now. The next quill is from Coles Calligraphy, but this pen can be purchased for 30 $1.95 with £1.50 postage on Amazon. The first thing about it that I really love is that it is very ornate. It is fairly easy to write with but it is a lot scratchier than any of the other quills that I have. Uh, also the nib itself is very delicate and you might be able to notice that mine has been very slightly, um, very slightly bent and that's only from propping it up in a pot. Uh, and none of my other quills have been damaged in a similar way. Another thing is that my quill actually fell out of the holder. All in all, it's a lovely pen and it's very decorative. It's something that looks nice on display. The final quill that I'll be showing you is this J. Hebron one. Uh, I got it for £5.60 off Amazon. Um, this is the only nibless quill that I own and actually I've got to say that I wasn't too impressed with this quill when it arrived. The tip on which you write with the quill was split, which means that it's really scratchy and squeaky when you write with it. Also, the ink that comes out is extremely thick. It might be good for drawing, like underlining things. And I like the way it looks, I like the colour. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed, and I hope you found this helpful, and that you are perhaps being more informed on where to get a feather quill if you are planning on buying one. Remember to go over to the calligraphy company because they have incredible products and they make great presents. They're very decorative and beautiful pens. Remember that you can use the Ranger 0117 discount code at the Feather Company for a 10% discount if you wish to buy one of their products. So thank you again for watching and have a productive week.